Hello, artists. Today is a skill builder day in art. Here's what to expect. We'll be learning about positive and negative space in art. You'll have a sketchbook activity to complete. You'll have studio time, and then we'll clean up. Let's get to positive and negative space. First off, space is one of the seven elements of art. Space is the area that an artwork takes up. So if your art is on a sheet of 9 by 12 paper, the area of the paper is the space of your art. Now we're going to bring up positive and negative space. When you hear the words positive and negative, you might describe those words as one meaning good and one bad. But in art, positive and negative space refers to the area of an artwork. Let's take this picture of a stool. In art, the stool is the subject. It's the main object in the picture. It's what the artist wants you to look at and identify. So in art, we should describe the stool as the positive space. The area and anything around the stool is what we would refer to as the negative space. Basically, the background is the negative space. Here is the Mona Lisa a famous painting by Leonardo da Vinci. The positive space is this, in this artwork is the Mona Lisa herself. The negative space is the landscape around and behind her. Positive and negative space is important to consider because it brings balance and completeness to a work of art. Take Vincent van Gogh's Starry Night. If it didn't have any details in the negative space, it would look pretty incomplete and not as interesting. Look at how Frida Kahlo considers positive and negative space in her self-portrait. Her head is taking up the positive space and the negative space is occupied by the animals on her shoulders along with the green plants behind her. The negative space adds another level of interest and story to her self-portrait. Artists can play with positive and negative space when they bring in optical illusions. If you see two faces looking at each other in this picture, the black areas of this picture is the positive space. Now shift your focus to the white area and now you may be able to identify a white vase as the positive space. Controlling what the viewer sees is part of the fun of being an artist. Here's an example of an artist shifting from black shapes as the positive space above where you see a falling figure to the white shapes being the positive shapes in the bottom with the frog swimming. MC Escher is an artist known for playing with positive and negative space and optical illusions. In his famous tessellations, he mathematically created images that transforms from positive to negative shapes. We see that here, uh, we see that here as the fish on the bottom gradually goes from being the positive shape to being the negative space in the background and the bird doing the same as we gaze down. Tae Yao Hong is a contemporary artist who plays with positive neg and negative space in his illustrations. Notice how the record player has two different positive space depending on whether you are focusing on the teal part or the black part. Same with the next image of the white question mark. Focus on the center black area and you'll be surprised to see a side view of a person as the positive space. Here he's having fun with the white negative space suddenly interacting with the positive space of the city and cars.